Yeah, good morning ladies and gentlemen uh, today I just want to show you how to download an assignment on WiseUp and then submit the assignment via WiseUp. Uh, the first step is to move your mouse pointer here on the, to the course menu and then on the course menu you need to click on the assignments button uh, after you have clicked on assignments button uh, all your assignments will appear here on the course window and then here there's only one assignment that has been uploaded by the lecturer now the first step you need to open the assignment to open your assignment you move your mouse pointer to this bold assignment one and then you click on assignment one after you have clicked on assignment one uh, you will be on the assignments window and then on the assignments window the first thing that you'll note here that is that there is assignment information and uh, there is also assignment submission so firstly you need to focus here on assignment information on assignment information there are two boxes here and the first one we have got uh, the due date which is the due date of the assignment the due date of the assignment is wednesday january 31 2018 at 11:59 pm now you need to make sure that uh, you check this because you need to submit your assignment before the due date and the due time so you can't submit that assignment at zero zero so you need to make sure that you submit before the due date and the due time and then here on this box we have got the points possible and then below the 70 that's the marks of the assignment and then below the two boxes we have got the assignment instructions the instructions are here please download attached assignment and submit online via wise app meaning that after you have downloaded uh, these uh, files or this assignment and then you will work on your assignment and then after you will submit it online via wise app and then below the instructions is the file is the attached file with the assignments with the assignment questions now you need to click on this attachment in order for you to open the assignment questions so let's click and then those are the assignment questions uh, they have downloaded up there and then after you have downloaded you will uh, have a look at the assignment questions and then start working on your assignment and then when you are done you need to log in again and then you will come here and focus on assignment submission here on assignment submission uh, you will only focus on uh, three things first one is this button write submission so you click on this button and then this text box will appear and then you start typing to your lecturer for example please find the attached assignment and then that's all that's what you write to your lecturer and then you scroll down and then now you focus on attaching the file now as you're working on the word document you need to attach it and then you click on submit to submit the assignment never click on this button submit without attaching your file so now to attach your file you click on this button browse my computer after you have clicked on browse my computer and then you start to look for the location where you have saved your documents for example i have saved mine here on documents location then you scroll down and look for the file with the file name and assignment one answers so we need to look for that file which is assignment one answers ok 
okay yes yeah scrolling down uh, looking for, uh, at the file location then there is the file that I want to attach now you need to click on the file and then you click on open after you click on open you'll notice that uh, the attachment appears there below attached files before there was no file here but now the attachment is appearing there and then you need to scroll down if you have got any comments you just type your comments here but if you don't have any comments then you can just submit yeah you need to note that comments are not compulsory but the right submission part and the attached files part they are compulsory you need to do those but here you don't have to but you can type your comments if you feel like typing your comments and then when you are done you come and click on this button submit now that you have submitted your assignment you can read from that message success your submission appears on this page the submission confirmation number there it is so you have successfully submitted your assignment yeah that's all thank you